नमस्कार माई सेल्फ मिसेस नेहा राजेश कल्याण आई एम वर्किंग ऐज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स टीचर कंडक्टिंग ट्यूशन्स फॉर इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड स्टूडेंट्स फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इन सांगली आई एम वर्किंग फॉर ट्वेंटी इयर्स सो माई एक्सपीरियंस एंड द फीडबैक ऑफ माई स्टूडेंट्स हियर इट इज द वीडियो दैट लेट्स यू नो वाई टू सिलेक्ट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स for 11th and 12th standard science stream so after 10th standard when you are having vacation and you are thinking to select science stream instead of commerce or arts how pcn or pcb can be managed so if you don't have interest in biology then the first subject that is maths as a group having common as physics and chemistry along with b group that is second group so for engineering and not to have biology option there are three basic subjects they are physics chemistry and maths so a group includes these three subjects along with these three english is compulsory and these four subjects each of 100 marks contribute for 400 marks and remaining 200 marks that can be done using this optional subject as electronics so electronics is for 200 marks instead of selecting two separate subjects either marathi or it or it geography here it is the 200 marks option that goes with electronics so this is my second video introduce the advantages or why to select electronics for 200 marks as i have done first video in marathi language so many of parents may not be familiar with marathi language so this is the second video giving the advantages of electronics 200 marks subject so what are the reasons to select the electronics subject which carries 200 marks instead of selecting two separate subjects this is the single subject which covers 200 marks so even though it is optional as to be selected with physics chemistry and maths so first question as how much is the time required so preparation time is very small that is during the period that you have while studying physics chemistry maths you can go with electronics so it needs very less amount of time to study this subject as it is nothing but modern physics so it is useful in the study of physics also so we are main focus should remain to physics chemistry and maths so how to manage the study of electronics here first thing is here as physics chemistry and maths are mainstream subjects so for attempting cet exam that is common entrance test conduct test conducted by maharashtra government so mst cet or je mains je advanced there are three subjects physics chemistry and maths but before that all these students they have to appear for hsc that is maharashtra state board exam so while appearing for this board exam this physics chemistry maths is to be studied in a way where you have to write descriptive answers but in case of cet and je exam for pcm subjects for mcq there is another technique to study the same concept so here how to manage the study uh, of electronics when you are studying pcm so here you can use the second subject as electronics because here by having tension of studying pcm or burden of pcm so to have relaxation you can change the study means change the subject so in this way instead of continuing with the same three subjects if you go with electronics then your mind will get relaxed as it introduces different electronic components different circuits new logic new electronic designs so you will have interest in it and you can 
relate it with your physics study also. So this is another benefit of selecting electronics. Whereas again the point comes whether this subject overlaps with other mainstream subjects. Yes, here it overlaps with physics. Means many chapters of electronics they are useful in physics. So from 11th standard, if we think about the chapters as semiconductor, electromagnetism, study of components like study of capacitor, resistor, inductor, transformer, all these components they are useful in the study of physics. So here it shows the relation of electronics being technical subject useful in physics as 11th or 12th standard physics becomes easy. Also few chapters from 12th standard as um, logic gates, modern electronic communication, these chapters along with few 11th standard as oscillator, amplifiers. So these chapters they are useful in the 12th standard as well as 11th standard physics. So in this way if you have confidence by making your concepts clear from electronics you will be confident in physics also. So this is the indirect use of electronics while studying physics because normally physics this term this word it shows that all students get tension. So whenever we say this is the physics subject then instead of having tension while studying physics you can correlate it with electronics. So that is another advantage of having knowledge of electronics. So these chapters they are useful in physics. They will make your subject physics very easy. At the same time you have to think about whether the coaching is available for this subject. Yes. I am working in Sangli and here I conduct offline classes. So how much period is essential? as all the classes they are for all weekdays then my class is only for 3 days it means as the first point has stated it needs least time for preparation so I provide very small duration for its teaching for its revision as well as my 20 years experience it had made the notes part very simple means I had made those notes in very simple way, simple terms, words are used so you can easily understand it and my teaching style also includes both the languages, Marathi and English. So whenever I conduct teaching, I use both the languages while I conduct it as offline classes. As well as when I provide notes, they are very simple. So not only for 11th and 12th standard, these notes are useful but they are also useful for further studies means for graduation, engineering, technical subject, electronics these notes are useful. Then I always conduct revision because I normally cover my um, syllabus as very small duration and it will be helpful to conduct revision, test, assignments, open book test so my students will always get confident about this study. So in this way, offline classes are available as well as right now according to the need of this time, my online classes are also available. So you can register with online classes with very um, least type of fees as well as you can go through my videos as loaded on YouTube. So in this way, my coaching, it will be helpful for these students. Next, as it is a scoring subject. So 200 marks are the maximum marks. So many of my students have scored out of. Yes, many students, they have given a proud moment as having maximum score out of. So 100 marks for practical and 100 marks for theory. The paper 1 for 50 marks and second paper again for 50 marks. So in this way, two papers are covered for 100 marks theory part and 100 marks for practicals. So this subject gives opportunity to score out of and thus it is helpful to build 
the confidence so here it is also useful to grab a scholarship that is a prestigious point to have a scholarship dependent on your board score so when the board score is higher means if the student is in first three line of that district level board exam result then that student uh, will get benefited by the rubai ambani trust as engineering branch per year 27750 rupees means if you study for board as well as for cet je along with this technical subject it is beneficial for you so thus here it gives confidence so as i said earlier my notes are useful for 11th and 12th standard as well as for normal graduation bsc bca or engineering it also gives idea to construct different types of projects circuits also so innovation it helps to develop interest in this subject so by making your ideas in real world that is using different electronic components ics for example ic triple fires ic 741 operational amplifier timer ic so along with normal resistor capacitor inductor transformer these ics different semiconductor power electronic components like scr diode track students they can develop their own electronic circuits for example for having a counter mechanism that is automatically counting machine design part you might have seen as the counter of a cashier of any bank that is used to count currency and that counting machine is nothing but electronic machine electronic weighing machine or else clap switch once you clap the tube light can be turned on the fan can be turned off again if you clap the fan can be turned on so according to the requirement if you have the requirement if you have the logic design in your mind then it can be implemented so such innovative experience can also be done using these electronic components this technical side and for that normally i suggest electronics for you magazine and its innovative ideas for my students and they also enjoy this circuit designing part along with their normal pcm study so with small duration if i cover all the syllabus then the remaining time period it can be used for the study of pcm as well as to develop their own innovative ideas to implement those circuits and also the same thing it can be continued for their graduation part or the engineering part where they can participate in different competitions and having many basic concepts clear fundamentals very clear these students they will surely grab prizes in their colleges so in this way this technical part it builds interest gives innovation ideas developed in the mindset of these students so the next point as how to develop their writing skill means when you are applying for board exam these 100 marks two subjects how to develop the writing skills so when i conduct revision so i always give diagram explanation step by step marking system so according to my experience whenever i explain all these points all the students they get idea how to put the answer along with diagram explanation so there is not at all necessary to explain it in a broad way but perfect terms and diagram so it will be beneficial to improve the writing skill so in this way here diagrams explanation step by step revision that will surely develop writing skill in the students so here useful in any science graduation as a be bta bsc bca as i said my notes they are not only useful for 11th and 12th standard electronics but also useful for other graduation and engineering part also what happens as compared to other that is computer science type subjects 
here the basic concepts fundamental concepts of electronics they remain the same so when you are studying c language c++ programming languages used in computer they have to be updated with very short period so always you have to think in updated way that is not the case in case of electronics so the same concept with your innovative ideas different instruments can be designed so thus it is beneficial for engineering any branch that has been adopted or opted by those students the basic electronic this subject it will be common for every branch so electrical instrumentation electronics computer science basic electronics digital electronics analog electronics all these chapters they are included in those syllabus as well as for chemical engineering mechanical civil first year basic electronics it is there whenever mechanical students they participate for car designing competitions like baha so they always need transducers and on always my students give feedback as whatever they have studied in 11 12th standard electronics basic concept transducers open ic triple five so all these components they are useful while they do car designing so in this way the basic concept having very clear idea all these students they are nowadays having very bright career as they are working like qualcomm that is mobile industry having jobs in intel doing their best career in iits and nits so i have a proud feeling to share all these achievements of my students where i am there to clear their ideas basic concepts of electronics so do share this video get the ideas clear about this electronics subject and guide the students to select this electronics subject thank you